people said, could we have a convention? Should we have a convention? And we started looking for this convention. Could we afford it? You know, would it be a good idea? What would we do with this convention? And the more we looked at this convention, the more we realized, not only could we and should we, we must. We must. Because we are about to fight the battle of our lives. And we thought that battle was coming in 2012. And then we got a little surprise from our governor called SB5. And now we're going to fight that battle in six months. This November 2011, we will fight the battle of our lives. Political experts have told me directly this will be the single most important election in the United States this November. The unions are going to spend $20 million to beat us. $20 million to beat us. Money will pour in from all over this nation. Because if we cannot defend 7 Bill, 7 Bill 5, if we the people cannot take back control over our government operations, where we can hire and fire the best people, where we can reward good people and get rid of people who don't perform, where we can actually use common sense, as the lady sign says over here, and make good decisions about teachers. If we cannot win that, then all is lost. This is the firewall. This is where they are. They are all in, folks. They know. They lose in November. The whole union movement ends. You know why? Because without forced, the forced taking of their dues, they will starve financially. Right? Yay. I have read about, you know, when they've gotten their dues taken away, where it's not deducted from the paycheck by us, okay, then they have to pay their dues voluntarily. Guess what percentage pay their dues voluntarily? Zero. It's 5%. 5%. If they lost 95% of their money, how formidable a force would they be? If they could not pay the bus people to Columbus and pay them for the day off from work and pay their food when they're down there to protest, how many protests do you think they'd have? None. Zero. Zero. And so when I'm asking you to come to the We the People Convention, I'm not asking you to come to have a good time, okay? This is not the you know, convention for work where you go to Boca Raton and sit on the beach and have a good time. I'm asking you to come to boot camp. I'm asking you to come to learn how to fight. I'm asking you to come so you can learn so you can have 5,000 people at this meeting, not 50. I'm asking you to come so you can learn how to win in the precincts in your neighborhood. How you can run for city council and township trustee and you can go to their meetings and hold them accountable. I'm asking you to come to learn how the political system works and to learn how we fight this fight because it takes more than just heart it takes more than just heart our forefathers had heart when they took on the british they believed in their cause and they were slaughtered in the field by the british army because they weren't trained Fifty thousand men died in the revolutionary war when the population was 2.4 million that's about Northeast Ohio's population. Freedom is not free, is it? Freedom is not free. So I will end with what I always end when I speak to my group and groups around this state. Each and every one of you today needs to look inside your heart and needs to ask yourself the question, what price are you willing to pay for freedom and liberty? What will you pay? How much time? How much effort? How much money will you pay so that you can be free and that your grandchildren can be free and your children can be free and the world can still have hope to be free someday? What price will you personally pay? Because one of the problems we have in the Tea Party movement, folks, is we think we can fight a war without money. You can't fight a war without guns and bullets and boots. And so when I see Tea Party people, they always talk about we don't have enough money. I got news for you. We have all the money. We have all the money, folks. They don't have any money. They get all their money from us. The question is, what price will you pay? And I'm asking you to join me and join your fellow patriots and join Dick Morris 
and join the other speakers at the Buckeye Institute, American for Prosperity, Freedom Works, and 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 Freedom